Question number 27. A variable plane at a constant distance p from the origin meets the axis in A, B and C. Through A, B, C, planes are drawn parallel to the coordinate planes. Show that locus of a point of intersection is x raised to minus 2 plus y raised to minus 2 plus z raised to minus 2 equal to p raised to minus 2. So, we'll just begin uh, with our normal form of a equation of a plane. A normal form of a equation of a plane is given by Lx plus My plus Nz equal to P, where P is the distance from the origin and L, M, N are direction cosines from origin to the plane. Now it is given that a variable plane at a constant distance P, so we have taken that from the origin meets the axis in A, B, C. So let's, uh, let's, if this be the axis and let these be A, B, X axis. A, B, and C, random point. So let's A, A will be of the form like this, 0, B, 0, 0, C will be of this form. Now it is given that it means a axis in A, B, C. So if you see, if you, uh, so these three, po uh, these points pass through this plane. You substitute, uh, you can see that if you put a 0 0 0 here we we can see that a into l plus 0 into 0 equal to p or we have uh, l equal to p by a similarly if you put the other points you put 0 b 0 in 1 you get uh, b m equal to p or m equal to p by b 0 0 b in 1 we get um, c n equal to p or n equal to p by b now if you substitute L M N using 2, 3, 4, 1, we have um, E by A x plus p by b y plus p by z equal to p or equation of plane as x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. So uh, this is the equation of a plane that pass through uh, three points a 0 0 0 b 0 0 0 c. So this is a standard equation. I just derived it but if you remember this, you can start from this equation itself. You don't have to write all these steps. You can right away start saying that equation of a plane uh, passing through A00 and 0B0 and 00C is this. So just remember this equation. Uh, this is our equation. So let's call this phi anyway. So this is the equation of a plane passing through these three points. And in the question, it is given that now this through a, B, C, planes are drawn parallel to the coordinate planes. So how can we draw planes? So if you see, you take, this is how you can draw a plane parallel to the coordinate plane. Here it is pa uh, parallel to Y, Z plane, right? Uh, we have already learned such a plane will have the equation X is equal to A. So if you are not familiar how this x is equal to a came, you can just check the previous concept videos where I am discussing uh, equation of planes parallel to the coordinate planes. So such a plane will have equation x is equal to a and equation of equation similarly such a plane through b and parallel to x is a plane will have will look something like this. 
and it will have equation x is equal to sorry y equal to b y equal to b and through z i'm just drawing for clarity i'll just say this is and a plane will something like this and it will be of the form z is equal to b so these three planes we are uh, drawing three planes where x is equal to a y equal to b and z is equal to c are the equations of such planes so we'll just note that down uh, equation of plane through a zero zero and parallel to y z plane is x is equal to a and equation of a plane parallel to zero b zero and parallel to uh, x z plane is y equal to b equation of plane passing through zero zero c parallel to uh, x y plane is z is equal to c so let's call this six we have three equations of plane now they are asking uh, through a b c planes are drawn parallel to the coordinate plane show the locus of point of intersection so they are asking about the locus of points of intersection uh, so any uh, point uh, if you take an arbitrary point uh, x uh, x1 y1 z1 it will be uh, satisfying all these three planes uh, so x y z will be the um, coordinate of a point of intersection of these three planes now we have to find uh, the locus uh, so x y z changes and we need to find a relation of x y z from all these which satisfies all these conditions so a b c are changing and point of intersection x y z will change as according to a b c change so we need to find uh, we need to find a relation between x y z uh, from the relation between a b c uh, we already have a, a relation between a b c we will see now it is given uh, the only uh, constant thing is given is distance is p now we have to uh, see what is the relation between p and this a b c so from uh, to find that uh, distance from origin to plane 5 is p this is the constant this is the given given distance from origin to plane 5 is p so we know how to find equation uh, distance from origin to a plane so which is 1 by so if if there is a plane ax plus by plus cz uh, plus d equal to 0 and equation to origin will be uh, a distance from origin to this plane will be um, a into 0 plus into 0 plus c into 0 through d by root of a square plus b square plus c we'll be using this here so here uh, a into 0 plus b into 0 into c all this cancels only d by root of a square plus b square plus c square here d is you see if you um, d is minus 1 so we have the distance as 1 by root of a square plus b square plus c square so 1 by a, a a here is 1 by a 1 by b and 1 by c their direction ratios is 1 by a so 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by b square or we can say this is minus 1 so or we can say 1 by p square if you inverse and square we get 1 by p square is equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square so this is the relation between a b c 
and p the given so let's call this ion so now to find the relation between x y z in terms of abc uh, by eliminating abc we just uh, need to substitute uh, these values 6 7 8 and 9 6 7 8 9. using 6 7 8 we have 1 by p square is equal to x is equal to a the equation just have to this square, nine square. So p is the constant here. X y z is changing. The, it's the relation between x y z is this with p as the constant. So we have our required equation of the locus of point of points of intersection. As I said, x y z is the point of intersection of these three planes, and the relation is this with only p as the constant here. So the required equation. So in the question, it's just given p raised to minus two uh, instead of one by p square. It is given p raised to minus two, and x raised to minus two, y raised to minus. Two. It's same. Just prove that that is the locus. So clear. We are, we have used many concepts that we discussed earlier in this question. So this is can say this mark this as a very good question which uses multiple concepts so i hope uh, the solution is clear and oh please solution to question 27